the United States, a tree falls and an enrollee is painfully injured or perhaps killed. Immediately a report goes to Washington by telephone, wire or radio. After the accident has been investigated, a study is made of all the evidence on the case so that regulations can be drawn up that will help prevent similar suffering. The records are carefully filed and studied constantly. These studies show that 17% of all accidents are caused by falling objects, 18% by handling objects, 22% by falls of persons, and 30%, nearly one-third, by hand tools. Further study shows that either carelessness or bad judgment or poor supervision is responsible for every injury. Allow me to introduce to you Wacky Willie. Wacky typifies the dumb enrollee who brings on his fellow PBs injury or even death. He is stupid, careless, and although he does have a little judgment, he seldom uses it. We are going to reenact for you some common accidents that have happened in the past. Seeing them on the screen should make you stop and think before you take a chance. Nearly one-third of all accidents in the CCC involve hand tools. In cleanup, timber stand improvement, and right-of-way clearing, we use the axe, saw, wedge, maul, and brush hook. Every one of these tools is used in doing woods work. Every one of these snacks has brought down the whole pool. Snacks out of the cell before many chances are accident. Snacks may be found, but they are more likely to be rotten or poking. Many snacks are brittle and will fly apart even while they're being cut. Many of them will appear found and kept found before they are found. Many of them will appear found and kept found, but will have a place of fire that has no strength, and the tree will break when you leave the spectrum. Snacks are brittle and will fly apart even while they're being cut. Many of them will appear found and kept found, but will have a place of fire that has no strength, and the tree will break when you leave the spectrum. Like this one, with 14 inches of puck between the two.
undercut. He didn't brush out very well, but it's better to stop and do it now than to try to continue working in unsafe surroundings. cut should be level. Now the axe to chop the notch. Check your swing and your footing. cut controls the direction of fall. By placing the axe in the notch and sighting along the handle, you can see just where the tree will drop. If it's slightly off, you can correct the notch with a little more chopping. is started a few inches above the undercut. The saw is guided with one hand until it is an inch or so in the wood. Then the hand slides along the saw and both hands grasp the handle. Notice the free swing that pulls the saw through each time with as little effort as is needed. Each man pulls the saw to him and lets it ride free on the return stroke. Good footing is very important. cut is part way through, the tree will often settle back slightly and bind the saw. A wedge is inserted in the kerf and a few taps of the maul will lift the tree so the sawing can go on. It may be necessary to drive the wedge several times before you are finished. tail sign that it's coming down. A few taps on the mall and she falls. It is often necessary to remove the saw from the kerf before wedging a tree over. This is desirable when a tree is to be thrown in a direction contrary to its natural lean. The tree had no top, but often we find snags with dried out brittle tops that might break off when we wedge them. This means that a sharp lookout must be kept.
dangerous condition that requires careful work. Keep your eyes peeled for falling limbs and watch out for flying pieces when she goes down. Occasionally a tree falls into another one and gets hung up. Several enrollees have been killed by climbing up to free the tangle. The right way to get the hung tree down is to break it down with another one. Imagine what that whipping would do to a man up there. What could we have done wrong? Plenty, not rushing out. Remember what we said about pulling the saw? Here's what happens when you push. There's an old saying, if you're gonna ride, don't let your feet drag. Careless footing. Trying to do two things at once. Lancing axes are always bad. Red says he's glad that it's a rubber axe. Careless footing again. Never use a mushroomed wedge, or this may happen. Remember what causes accidents to enroll ease? Falling objects, handling objects, falls of persons, hand tools. These cause nine out of every ten injuries. For the careful workman using common sense, Wood's work is interesting and safe. But in the same work, hundreds of dangers threaten the careless worker with injury or death.